Up the water. Right, those way far, a chryso can you show near Riverside? Did you get that? Absolutely. Right, okay. Stephen, very welcome, uh, a very warm welcome to you on your first visit to the to the Riverside. Thanks for having uh, I hope it will be the first of many. Um, it's great to have you here, and uh, having read a little bit about you, I knew that uh, you played rugby league yourself, but I didn't realise that you came from uh, something of a dynasty of rugby league players. Would you like to tell us a bit about it? Uh, apparently so, I think that's the word you use. Um, yeah, I would be third generation of professional rugby player in my family, so yeah. uh, it's quite cool, I guess. Yeah, John, your father played full back for... Witness. For Witness, your uncle... Tony. You've done your research. Your Uncle Tony. Appar apparently, from what it said, that your Uncle Tony was quite the footballer. Was so. it one of the outstanding footballers of his generation? I believe so, yeah. yeah. And your great uncle, Frank, uh, captain the British Isles rugby team out in Australia in 1970. And I believe that that was the last time that Britain ever won a series out in Australia? Correct. There we are. Yeah. Go ahead, well, give him a round of applause from coming to such a wonderful family. Born on July the 21st, 1986. There we are. There we are. And I've got to say that last week, um, when I was doing the interview last week, I interviewed Adam Beard. And it's a relief to, to actually interview you today because I feel significantly less of an umpa lumpa standing next to you. I don't know what that says about me, does it? Well, one <laughs> hell of a big boy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Right. So, uh, I believe that you started off with Witness, playing rugby league, then you moved to St. Helens, is that right? The other way around. Uh, other way around, St. Helens, St. Witness. St. Helens yeah? Academy to Witness. Yeah, yeah. and in, uh, just check the date, in 2006, you began a professional career with the Saints. I did. Yep. Yeah? You were there for 12 years? And during those 12 years, I think you amassed 325 appearances. There or thereabouts, yeah. There or thereabouts. And how many points did you score, do you know? Over 2,000. Just a minute, I'll look it up now. <laughs> 2,168. We seem to have this uh, incredible relationship with Northampton uh, in terms of outside halves. Because we've sent one up there that's yeah, ma yeah. amassed a few points as well. So there we are. Um, I believe then that uh, after 12 years you went to London Irish. Yeah? A yeah, couple, couple of seasons there. Yeah. And in, I think it was 2021 you signed, signed for the Ospreys, am I correct? 2020. 2020, and it was a, it was a, a season's contract initially. Yeah. But um, I can put this away now because there's no more <laughs> statistics. Um, but I, I believe that um, you've re-signed another contract with us. Well, I'm, yeah, currently in that re-signed contract. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a big clap, because I think we'd all like to keep, keep it. If you would have been in this room last week, right, and against Munster, you would have been the most favourite person in the whole of the stadium. I can tell you that now. Two outstanding, outstanding results and a really good performance today against uh, a very strong sales side. Yeah. A uh, couple of questions. Any of you that's uh, of a similar generation to myself, that is any of you in your 40s, <laughs> might remember when people went, what they used to say, go north in South Wales. They were completely ostracised, you know, because it, ju it just wasn't the done thing to switch codes. I just wondered, uh, in your experience, when you went from league to union, what was it like? Was there any animosity or any? Uh, I think there was a little bit of maybe surprise at the time from certainly like friends, friends of mine, same era. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to anything other than my outside family, who were the ones that kind of encouraged me to do it, particularly my dad. Um, so yeah, I, I, I didn't listen to too much. Um, I probably wasn't as like a huge name in rugby league at the time. I was still trying to come through the ranks and earn my stripes. So it might have been a surprise to some people, but I didn't really care about that, to be honest. Uh, were you um, 
pleased you made the switch? Is it, is it a switch you've enjoyed? Or? Well, I'm still here 15 years later, so I think it's, I think it's a good decision. I yeah. think, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, another question I, w I wanted to ask you. Um, usually we ask this question. Um, who's the worst roommate you've had with the Osprey? That's the usual question. But recent hi history has changed it slightly because I'm going to ask now, have you ever roomed with Nicky Smith? Thankfully, no. Because apparently, if everybody, a few people this season have told us that Nicky Smith is the worst to room with. I, yeah, I wouldn't put that past him, to be honest. How he snores. I've had no... no You've had no experience of no. Nicky Smith snoring? No. No, there they are then. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think that's about it. We're going to keep you any longer. We're delighted to have you here with us, and thanks very much for, for all you're doing for the region. No problem. And we hope to see you uh, um, long into the future representing us. Thank you very much. Appreciate and it. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Right. First visit here, first of all. Um, how's the elbow, was it? Arm, shoulder? What was yeah, it? Yeah, the elbow's a bit swollen at the minute. But uh, luckily the scan went well. Yeah, Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, luckily the scan went well, so it um, should only be a couple of months and then I'll be back on the pitch playing, hopefully. All right, great, because we missed you today. So not, yeah. Yeah, we've had some good full backs, but uh, it was a good game last week to Edmonster till yeah. you got, I think, taken out. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you grew up supporting the Saints, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I know. So how does it not feel to you know play alongside Stephen? You know, we watched growing up because I know Stephen obviously was twelve when he started playing rugby. But um, what was it like to watch him and now play alongside him? Yeah, obviously at, at first when I came in and started training with him, it was a bit surreal. But you know, once, once you get to know the your teammates and stuff, it, they just become another mate really. So you don't really think too much about it. But yeah, obviously it's a privilege to play with player like Stephen who I obviously grew up supporting and now uh, yeah it's a privilege. So unfortunately English then are you? Yeah um, unfortunately I am I am English I'm from a from a small town called Buckingham. Sorry one second. Excuse me we've got players speaking thank you. <laughs> yeah um, so I'm from a small town called Buckingham it's like um, an hour away from London and I'm half Hungarian as well, so unfortunately there's there's no Welsh. No Welsh. In me. Nah, there's no Welsh in me, unfortunately. But Open I, to being adopted by a red-haired 54-year-old woman, just to... <laughs> If it has to be done, it has to be done. Oh well, you heard it first. Get the paperwork going. Come on. So you're currently in university in Swansea. Uh, yeah, I've just left. I've just left. Just left. Oh, right. what was you studying? Uh, I was studying sports science for three years. Ah, right. Yeah. So you were here in Swansea all this time and. Yeah, yeah, so obviously um, I I was obviously based in England and I came to Swansea just for my academics really. I wasn't too busy focusing on my rugby and stuff. Um, I was just enjoying it at the time playing for the university, like some of the lads over there will know. Um, I then went on to play for Swansea Whites for a couple of years and obviously been picked up uh, to play for Ospreys now luckily, so yeah. So yeah. you're going to be staying with us for a little while yet, then? Yeah, yeah, I've got a, I've got a contract for the next couple of years, so... That's yeah, good news, good news. Should be here a while, sure. That's good, that's good. Just enough time for you to get the paperwork in, it's fine. <laughs> so you've had a few games for us now. What's been your most memorable moment so far? Um, it'd either be my uh, debut against the Dragons. Obviously, I, I only touched the ball once and scored. And um, either that or I, I really enjoyed the trip away to Treviso. I quite, as bad as it sounds, I do like the away trips and going to new places. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Italy before and obviously playing in the sun's not too bad either. So I'd probably say the Treviso game, yeah. I assume you're not, you're, not, uh, you're injured because you can't go to Paris next week now then. Yeah, I know. I am. One of my goals at the start of the season was to play in Europe, so yeah. that is a bit gutting. But. That's right, you can play in the course fine now. Yeah, yeah, no exactly, problem. exactly. We'll wait till next year anyway. <laughs> Not this year, yeah. Well, yeah, it is next year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the next year, God, this yeah. season. God, <laughs> December. So, well, who's been your toughest opponent so far? Um, I'd probably say the Connacht away game a couple of weeks ago. That was <laughs> that was not a nice game to play in, and obviously 
It looked, it, it looked bad on our part as players, but um, I promise they were, they were playing really good rugby, so credit to them, and that was tough, yeah. It's a horrible grand, oh, horrible grand. Wind, windy, yeah. I can, couldn't feel my hands like. Yeah. To be fair, you all look like you wanted to just go in at half time and knock them back out. Yeah. <laughs> half time, everyone was just shivering like pooing dogs, but yeah, it's horrible. Right. So, what are your aims then for the remainder of the season? Um, obviously, we're in a couple of competitions and we're going well in the league at the minute, so yeah. probably just to win a trophy, I think. I mean, it's been a while for obviously Ospreys were on a slightly downward slope before Toby came in, mm -hmm. so I reckon just some silverware, whether that be in the Champions Cup, obviously it's tough after today's result, so maybe that's going to come in the URC or the, the Challenge Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, just to, just to win a trophy, I think. will be drastic next week, no problem. Yeah. No problem as well. So before you go, I just want to ask you something. Um, is there a Tinder account? Uh, that, that, that's not mine, that's not mine. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I, no, like I promise. You. I promise. No, I don't, I don't have Tinder. Okay. Just wanted to ask him. I'm not on there, but it just got pointed out by, got pointed out to me. Got a bit blushy. Yeah, I know. I know. Not the Tinder. I not don't, the Tinder. don't want to bring that up. No. Those boys over there have it. So give them a swipe if you see them. Oh, there we are. Thank you very much for coming That's over right. today. I hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, it's and, been uh, Put your hands together for Max and for Stephen.